uh, today we have uh, the honor and the privilege to be in the hot spot called the Silicon Beach uh, in Los Angeles, right on the campus, uh, close to the campus of UCLA, actually on Sorority Road. So you guys are off to a very good start uh, geographically. Uh, but here are uh, the uh, brains and the energy and the innovators behind what we believe could be a very, very big idea called Everpedia. And uh, let me introduce a couple of founders. We've got Maboud. Yo, how's it going? And we have Sammy. And we have Ali. Yep, just a friend of the company. Yes, for support. So uh, let, let's take it away, Maboud, and tell us a little bit about Everpedia. Yeah, well, so Sam, uh, the first I heard about Everpedia is I was giving a talk at UCLA, and Sam is a fan of my old company, Rap Genius, uh, and he came and showed it to me. And uh, he's like, look, you're on Everpedia, check out your page. And that blew my mind because I'd been trying to get a page on Wikipedia uh, for years, and they kept taking my page down. So finally, it's like I have this recognition that I wanted. Uh, that's, that's kind of, you know, I had a, a eureka moment. I started putting up all my friends and everyone I know on Everpedia and eventually I got involved. Uh, we got uh, some seed funding together and now I'm really proud to be part of the site. This, this man is a genius who, who uh, came up with it and built it though. So uh, tell us a little bit about from your perspective and, and what you do here at uh, Everpedia. Uh, yeah, so I mean, when I was still a student at UCLA, the whole thing just kind of started with me thinking, you know, Wikipedia is the biggest, you know, site on the entire internet, but no one actually knows anyone that edits it or knows how to add stuff to it, and, you know, it's, it's so hard and bureaucratic that, you know, what if we just made something that's easier to put stuff up and, you know, there's just a much more lenient standard and so you know you could put up Mockwood's page, you can put up your own company's page uh, and you know it just went from there and people started putting stuff up and it grew really fast. So thank you to our friends at Everpedia. We feel they could quite possibly be the next big thing out of the Silicon Beach and of course from my alma mater, homies from UCLA. Now for a brief update on our market indicators. So there are some red flags. The market is starting to show some flashing red flags uh, regarding late stages of a bull market. And here they are. The level of mergers and acquisitions is really picking up. The scale is getting big. Already we're on pace to be the second biggest year ever with four trillion in M&A globally. In the last week, we've seen deals announced by Allergan, Pfizer, uh, Canadian Pacific and Norfolk Southern, and Marriott and Starwood. These are big scale major deals. Other thing that worries me a, a bit is the market, it, its advanced decline line, the participation, looks like it's starting to narrow. Uh, we're, we're seeing less and less stocks go up, about 65% of all stocks are below uh, their average price for the year, meaning that they're down and the market averages are flat but starting to move a little bit. Uh, we're seeing a divergence between the averages and the average stock of about 10%, and that is something to look at. Now, also, looks like finally in December, the market's bracing for it, we're going to get a rate hike. But what are we looking at next year and how will participants react to that if we do get several more interest rate hikes? You know, the other thing that's really uh, uh, obviously in the background is a geopolitical uh, environment with a, a, an attack that could happen at any point in time. So that is another element uh, that doesn't help. And finally, let's not forget, next year is a national election year and the uncertainty that that brings. So. There are some things to focus on here to be a bit more defensive. I'd like to see that leadership broaden out and more of the small caps participate. So come to our website at millennium-asset.biz, get our most recent market strategy report, and look at some of the ideas and some of the spe uh, uh, sectors there. Also, look at our 15-year track record of outperformance. I want to wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving.
Robert Malby, Malby's Minute on the Market.